These miniature fridges have plushies, mystery boxes that are scented and interactive. And as you can see here on the screen, we can get one of three mystery cake plushes that are scented either in Tiger Berry Ripple, Strawberry Unicake, and Minty Polar Bear. Let me know in the comments which one do you hope we're going to be getting today. We do have three of them as you can see on my desk, so I'm hoping we can get one of each. But if not, I really want the Strawberry Unicake and the Minty Bear because I actually like mint. But let me know your preferred one because I'm really curious. And as you can see, this has a rating of 4.8 stars, which means this should be good in theory. And at $50, I really hope they are amazing, like the first one that we tried. If you want to see the other videos of the other cookies that we reviewed, make sure to check them out. Here is what the thumbnail looks like, and they will be linked in the description box. But already the images are super cute. We have a unicorn cake coming out of the fridge. We have different kinds of ingredients. And it looks like we're also going to be making our creature. So we're going to be mixing some powders, adding them into the fridge. And then we have to apparently wait because like time. Who does this? I know I never wear a watch. So I'm like, what time is it? Let me check. And then out pops a plushy friend. All right, without further delay, let's see what we get. But first, let's just put these on the side because I can only open one at a time. So it's just gonna, give me a second. Don't rush me. Give me a second. I got this. I got this. So let's see what we get inside. Ta-da! And the fridge itself is actually pretty cute. We get a lot of little ice creams and cones and banana splits all the way around on the front. Not the side, just the front actually. Here's what one side looks like. Here's what the back looks like, which is basically the grills behind an actual fridge. And here's the other side where we see pictures of the different plushies we can get. Did I mention they were scented? They're scented. So I expect the minty one to smell minty, just saying. Let's take a quick break from one cute thing to talk about an absolutely adorable other thing, which is Tamagotchi Adventure Kingdom, who are also sponsoring today's video. Whether you've known Tamagotchi for many years or you're absolutely new to these adorable characters, this game has a feel of nostalgia, adventure, and absolute adorableness just everywhere. And Tamagotchi Adventure Kingdom is on Apple Arcade, and it is the game that follows the lives of our companions beyond the toys that we know. My appreciation for this game is not just surface level. This game had me really involved in the different ways that you can commute from point A to point B, whether it's by train, by foot, or by car. We can different some really amazing points of interest, such as the fun-filled Guru Guru Town, Hot Springs, yes, Hot Springs, theme parks that are absolutely fun to explore, and a, and lot, a lot more. more. I felt myself saying, I wanna go here, no, I wanna go here, no, let's go here. In addition to having some really amazing points of interest in the game to explore, you get to also explore different characters. Yes, we play as Mimechi, the main character, but we get different friends along the way with different personality traits and abilities. And we know, us grades, we love decorating. So this game does not hold back and lets you be able to learn how to decorate and customize your environment the way you like. And one of the things I noticed in this game also is how they've replaced the fishing mechanism into a rescue rod. So instead of just fishing to keep them, you are fishing to rescue them and remove plastic just to help them with their day. So I love the fact that they're raising some environmental awareness while playing this game as well. This game is absolutely interactive and if you're into cozy, this is definitely for you. So what are you waiting for? Why not get Tamagotchi Adventure Kingdom like me and get a free month of Apple Arcade if you've never had it before by clicking the link in description box as well as the pinned comment or conveniently for you a QR code right here. So make sure to scan that. So download now and join the coziest, most nostalgic and beautifully arted game I have seen yet. Thank you, Tamagotchi Adventure Kingdom, for sponsoring your portion of today's video. All right, so I'm going to guess they want us to open the fridge. Okay, okay, what am I doing here? We need to pull this out, and then I'm guessing this is where all our ingredients are, I think. Okay, we have a little box. So we have our little ingredients box over here, and this is what the inside looks like. Right now, we don't know what we're doing, so we're going to close this back and we'll check out what we're going to be making for this tiny cake, which is a really cute box. All right, so the box itself just looks pretty normal. It says cookies, makery, freezy, cakeies, cakes, cakes, with a Z. <laughs> and here it says requirements. So this is the stuff. Oh, it looks like we're gonna need water. 
Okay, we're gonna go pick up some water and then recipes to surprise reveal so we can get any of these cute little ones. And it says includes, so all of these things, including a mold. So maybe the mold is going to tell us what character we're getting, so I'm not sure. All right, let's open, open, open. Why do I break boxes? All right, now we have it. All right, so first thing we have is a little cup. And then we have a powder. It says number one on it. I'm guessing there's going to be a powder number two. Yes, powder number two. And then we have some kind of, I'm guessing this is a mold. I'm not sure. What else? Oh, look at that. We have a scoop. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that. We have all these different instruction booklets. So we have this in here in Spanish. We have it in, I'm not sure. And we have it in English and French. It looks like each one is probably two different languages. Interesting. Okay, let's see. Let's, oh, 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 ow! So the instructions are actually pretty straightforward. There are some really cute drawings and it's basically easy to follow. And the first step does tell us that we need to put the packet in an empty bowl. Now I'm pretty sure, or maybe that's just me, Kitty Editor, let's go back and check that the first ever cookies we did came with its own bowl, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so I'm gonna put you in here. It has like this bready, more like fresh bread scent. But since we don't have a bowl, I went ahead and brought a bowl and added the water because we're going to need that anyways. And we're going to take pack number one. Oh my God, this is... <laughs> All right, here we go. And here's what it looks like. Let's take a sniff. Oh my goodness. It, it literally smells like yeast and flour, really like bread. All right, so we're gonna shove you in here, like I saw. And then we have the measuring cup, so let's open you. Aha, uh -huh. oh. And it looks like we have some kind of waffle cone. This might be an indication of what we're going to get, but let's not think too far ahead. And this is probably one of the weirdest measuring cups ever because it's empty and hollow on the inside. So only the water that you're putting really is going to be this area on the outside. That's weird. And it does say to fill it all the way to the rim. Oh gosh. You know what? We're gonna take the scoop and we're gonna add, <laughs> we're gonna add water until it's full. There, it says to the brim, we got it. And then we have to add it to the bowl. It says carefully, I guess it just doesn't want to splash. And we go mix it for two minutes. I got this, I'm gonna just mix it. <laughs> A few moments later. And now after our two minutes, it says to bring this all together and turn it into a little dough ball. Let's get it. This is really fun. I love the fact that they're making us get our hands dirty and it really feels like flour. I can't get over this. Let's get you together. Get you together. Very nice. Okay, let's take a nice big sniff. Smells like bread. 100% smells like bread. I'm just gonna squeeze it. All right, now we have to make a ball, but it is a little crumbly, so I feel like it might need a little bit more water. I'm gonna dip my hands in here and try to get it less crumbly. I think we needed more water. There you go. It's still crumbly. <laughs> Why aren't you getting less crumbly? Stop it. And now it says to shove it in here. So we're gonna go ahead, shove it, and try and extend it to the little feet. I'm guessing these are little feet. That's not giving me much to work with here. Come on, come on. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I have to say the indents for the feet really are not deep enough. That's one of my complaints at this time. And now it says to pinch both sides. And I think it's supposed to come out. Wait, both sides like this? Hello? Hello? Like this? Okay, okay, there's a little clasp over here. So we're technically unleashing it. And voila, that is a really sad little thing. <laughs> so here's what it looks like. I guess we have to kind of just mold it a little bit. Is that a face? We do have a little bit of a face over here. The mold could use some work. I'm gonna remove a couple of point percentages just because the mold can be better. I feel like the face and the feet are too shallow. We can definitely have bigger scoops on these to make them a little bit more interesting. And now apparently we have some ice cream on here. So I'm gonna open it from the bottom because it feels like the ice cream is down here. 
I'm gonna get you opened. And let's see what it is. Oh, okay. What is that? Now, according to the instructions, we should be able to just pour the entire thing on top. Using the scoop, we can spread it as a layer. So we're gonna, we're gonna, I, I don't know if this is the face or the butt. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> but I don't think this is going to come out. I'm trying to squeeze here, but the ice cream is not pouring. So I think we have to actually go in manually. So let's go in manually and get you out like this all. So it's kind of like a slime material, almost like a putty. Yeah, definitely like a putty. Either that or it has hardened and it's no good anymore. This is, this is what we have. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is going to spread. Even if I use my ice cream scoop, look at that. There is no spreadage. It, it, it ain't spreading, papa. And in theory, it should look like this. So we're not going to get that. And then we have to place this on top. <laughs> this is looking like something from your nightmares. And let's bring back our freezer. Let's see yeah, what we have in here. Now the instructions did say we needed to twist and remove these. I don't know why I'm always scared putting my hand inside things. You coming out, th there you go. And then this one, very easy, easy, <laughs> easy, there you go, easy, I got, come on, there you go. And I think this one as well, come on, <laughs> why am I struggling, there you go. And now we're going to put our atrocity in here. I, <laughs> I feel embarrassed you making something like, it's not my fault, okay, the ice cream is just no good anymore. We're gonna make sure that the other ones actually have proper ice cream or if they're all just hardened like this. And now we need to turn this timer thing over here. Oh, minus 10, okay. And then we close the fridge door. Okay, oh. like strawberry jam. Oh. All right, so here is our unicorn character. Let's take a closer look at it. Well, I guess it fell asleep. And as true cookies fashion, everything is printed on. The character doesn't have anything embroidered on top. It really is just a print. The ears are a holographic type material. It's not scratchy or gross, which is really nice. We have the ice cream cone on top. Again, more glitter on the ears. We have the ice cream sprinkles all the way around, a little bit of a drizzle. We have a puff, puffy, 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 puffy tail. I can't talk. <laughs> and it looks absolutely delicious. And the smell really is like strawberry jam candy. It's very sweet, but not too invasive. I really like the smell of this. And we should be able to activate sounds. That was kind of sad. Is that broken? Okay, it's just, it's just going It almost sounds like a loon. Is that a Canadian thing to know? Let's hear the sound of a loon. And play the unicorn. And the loon. They kind of have the same frequency. That's so weird. I feel like the magical sound of vroom, vroom, sounds a little scratchy to me. And then if we press for two or three seconds, it should start shivering. And it, there you go. <laughs> oh gosh. The poor thing! Oh gosh, don't be so cold! <gasps> Why do I have goosebumps for it? Don't be so, I'm just gonna hold you! I have goosebumps, don't be so cold, no! I got you, oh no, you poor thing! 
Don't be. Okay, we're good now. Okay, all right. I have to say, I'm going to rate this as a smell a nine on 10 because the majority of the smell is on top, the sides, not so much. The plushie itself is really cute. I'm going to give it a 7.5 on 10. Interactivity and sound, I'm actually going to give that closer to a four on 10. So let's see what the other ones are like. Next, the second one. looks exactly like the other one. We still have these cute little markings of ice cream right on the outside. So unfortunately, there is no way to know which plushie is on the inside. Let's open it in here and we pull this out. I think the only way to know is going to be with the actual ingredients box. We're gonna pull this. I'm gonna pull this. And again, the boxes look exactly the same, no difference. So here's the box, side, back, and the other side. So let's open you. And I'm going to guess, if we get another horn, that's going to be the unicorn. So the first thing we need to look for is this thing. Oh, it is different. Okay, I think we definitely have a different plushie right now. Let's take out everything. Voila. So we have one and two for our ingredients. I still don't feel like this is liquidy enough, so let's see if the ice cream is actually melty. Instructions. I'm, I'm an expert right now. I don't need, I don't need no instructions. <laughs> We do have a mold and this is what the face looks like. I think they all look the same when it comes to the mold itself. And if we're going to compare it, here's the first mold. Yes, they do look exactly the same. So the mold doesn't give it away. And because I <laughs> don't necessarily want to clean my own mess, <laughs> we're going to reuse the same mold. Off we go. And let's see what this looks like. I'm going to guess they're exactly the same. Smells like pizza dough. This is making me want pizza. I'm gonna shove the powder in here. One of the things I wish they did is maybe add a little bit of a colorant powder just to make it a little bit more engaging because the dough itself is okay, but nothing that special. So let's go ahead and add our water. We have to fill it to the brim. So we're gonna use our scoop and fill it to the brim. And we're gonna pour it and now we're gonna mix it. Mix, mix, mix all day long. Mix, mix, mix while I sing this song. Gonna sing this song all day long while I mix this powder to make a unicorn. I don't know if it's a unicorn. <laughs> a few moments later. All right, so here is our dough ball. I'm able to get it into a round type shape. And now we're gonna squish it. There we go. Again, these indents for the molds are not deep enough for us to actually be able to make these little feet. So I'm just kind of gonna shape it myself. Squish and pull, voila. And now we're gonna squeeze the sides. You see it's unlocking here and unlocking there. And now we're gonna do this, voila. Let's take a look at that face. And here's the face, very hard to see. My camera's like, I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm not sure. And that's basically what it looks like. So now we get to check the ice cream. Please be melty. Are you gonna be melty? No. Look at that. I'm just going to give it a chance. I'm going to hold it here so y'all don't say, Janky, you're doing it wrong. I get it. But this is not the time nor the place nor the actual situation. Look at it. Yeah, that is not, that is not a melty ice cream. We still have a kind of putty situation and that is not going to spread very well. I feel like this is a failed attempt of a icing, but at least <laughs> it sits right here. Let's find the charm. Oh, actually, it's already open. Ta-da! And it kind of looks like a fan. So I'm going to put it like a so. Not sure what it's supposed to be. Now we're gonna bring back our little friend to the side here. All right, let's open this. And now we need to remove all of these little pins and things. So, oh gosh, like a so. I'm not struggling. You aren't. <laughs> Let it come on, there you go, we got you. And now we're gonna go ahead and put our character smack in the middle, turn our dial until we see the minus 10, like this, close it up, there. <laughs> meow, we heard a meow. 
and it's shaking. <gasps> oh, kitten, oh my goodness, you're shaking. Oh gosh, these shakes legitimately give me goosebumps. My goodness, look at the waffle. Okay, 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 I'll hold you. Just give me a second. Give me a second. You make me nervous. Oh, you smell delicious. That was weird. It goes. Oh my goodness. This smells like, I'm, I'm salivating now. I need to put this aside. This smells like grape juice. Not, not real grape juice, but the fake grape juice or that popsicle that you can break in half and give one to somebody, but you actually eat both. That's the kind of grape we are sniffing. I know it said it's supposed to be berry. Let's look at that packaging again. It does say that it's supposed to be some kind of berry, but it really does smell like grapes. And here is our kitty cat. We do have a waffle on top, but it's kind of flimsy. So it's just kind of flopping to the bottom. I wish they gave this one a little bit more consistency so that it can stand a little bit better, but it's just a piece of felt. The face is definitely again printed on. We have some drizzle for the cake all the way around. Look at the little toe beans, little toe beans. It actually has a tail and we have toe beans here as well. It smells, it smells really good. Let's hear the interactivity. I'm guessing that's supposed to be a kind of like tiger rar. We have meow. I think it's supposed to like, kind of like something like that. Is that it? Just two sounds? <laughs> Did it just turn into a pew pew? Is that what just happened? I want to hear that again. That's a gremlin. That is a gremlin if I never heard one before. That is a gremlin. That's a gremlin, 100%. Where's that other one? Yeah, that one. <laughs> that felt like a pew pew, but okay. I have to say that so far, I'm going to rate this exactly the same as the previous one. Here's the scoring on the screen again. Now, for our third one. And, huzzah. Now I'd be very surprised since we have three of these if we actually got three different ones, but there's only one way to truly find out and it's to actually see what's on the inside. Let's pull this out and we're going to look immediately inside this box. And what we shouldn't be seeing is a horn or a waffle. I don't know what the other one is. Actually, we can tell. We're looking for a snowflake. So we got the horn, we got the waffle, we want the snowflake, which is the bear. All right, let's, let's try not to break you. Let's, let's do it. Do it, and let's take you out right away. Grains, grains. It is indeed a cone. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. But I have to say that this plushie is indeed cute. Is it something that you would want or do you find that it's not worth it? The idea is you can continuously make those little ball dough things and repop it back out if you wanted to. But personally for me, it ends up being a pretty expensive plushie for the interactivity it comes in. But it smells good and it is cute. So I'm going to let you grains make that decision. Personally for me, I don't think I would go for it. But do stay tuned because I do have this version of a frying pan. So make sure you have notifications turned on. If you want to watch more reviews, make sure you check up here. If you want to watch something a little crafty, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.